this week on the Myth of Soma. Soma fans. So, this week on the Myth of Soma, a few little snippets and some fucking epic shit happened at the end, so pay attention to the end of this video. Anyway, I wanted to show you how to upgrade um, rings. So what I did, I got Loopy to craft me some Dex rings because his uh, crafting skill is higher than mine and he gets better durability. So I've got three plus two Dex uh, wind bands, basically. And anyone can do this at any skill. So if you've got Dragon Tablets, um, Delight Tablets, or Tablet of Wisdoms, I think other ones work as well, that's all I'm sure of at the moment, you can do this at any skill with the same percentage chance. So I want to try and make some Dex rings for, for hunting to make it easier. So... It was as simple as this. So I would get someone, you know, with higher craft skill to, to craft you some decent rings. At a plus two strength or plus two um, deck. So you could do the int um, earring as well. And this is literally what you do. You put your delight tab in, your decks, and you click produce. And then, fuck yes, it worked. Thank God for that. Um, this is the first time I've actually upgraded on my own as well. Apart from that little tablet of lesser evil I did on my boff that time. But anyway. And then I thought I'll try another one. Because I got three delight tablets, did a bit of trade, and got three... And I thought, I'll produce, and fuck yeah, it worked again. So I was like, right, I've got two, and I only want to, wanted two, obviously, you can only wear two at a time. But I thought, I've got a third one. So I can either try one for a plus four, or I can get a backup. And I'm all about backups, me. So I thought, right, I'll just try the third one, because I've got nothing to lose. I've already got two, so uh, if I get another one, then, you know, something's going to fail at some point. So I thought, right, me and Loopy go in, like, what should we do? Should I do it? I'm like, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> He's like, got another DT. I can't actually see the screen very well as I'm narrating. Um, but I was like, right, I want to do this. And I'm kind of coming up with a bit of a plan on my upgrading now is I never upgrade the items that I would wear. I would upgrade always, always upgrade the worst one. So if I've got two rings, I would use them for hunting. I would always upgrade the third ring and always upgrade the, the, the worst one. So, for example, if you're doing rings and you need two at a time, you would always upgrade your third worst one. If you're doing weapons, you would always upgrade your second worst one. If you can repair, obviously... You know, if you, you only really need one weapon to hunt, if you can get special repairs. So, that's my golden rule now. So, I thought, right, I'll upgrade it. Got my third one. So, I've already had two out of two. What will happen? Boom! Three out of fucking three. That was the luckiest anvil kind of thing I've ever had. And all, on actually, the same day, I think I broke two or three bows on the same day me, me and Loopy did. Which is a bit shit, but A equals out. So, I was pretty happy with that. Um, so I've got three plus three dex rings, so I need some more delight tablets now. I'm trying to trade a few and then try all three again to upgrade. Uh, following my golden rule of always upgrade your worst item. Which is something that I think all of you follow. A few PMs this week with people losing the best weapons. I would never upgrade your main weapon or your main armor. Always upgrade the, the worst one. So a little clippets of the Guild Village War this week. It was quite a quiet one. Um, I, and again, I, I put all the footage into this for what I have this week. It's three hours long, so I've just snippeted everything out. Um, I just went in and just to kind of see what was going off. So there wasn't, I think this is maybe 15 minutes towards the end, maybe 10 minutes, something like that. And I thought I'd just have a little chill with Sando here, my little mate Rob. Um, and there wasn't really a lot happening because there wasn't many people kind of fighting for the stone. And it's way too early for me to get on the stone. If I have any chance of getting on it, it's always the last kind of like 30 seconds. So I thought, right, I'll try. I'll try and go for it now. I think ZR, uh, sorry, he was on it. ZYZZ, how do you pronounce that? Is on the stone. And he's double R, obviously. I probably don't even hit him. I thought I'll have a go anyway because I'm stood next to it. Worst case scenario, he dies and I can luckily step on. It's kind of anyone's game. When the person dies on it, one of the people around the stone is going to get on. So, the one, again, like you can see, it's quite a quiet one this week. I don't really know why. I can't remember what day it was on off the top of my head. I mean, they, maybe that might uh, may have had a th thing to do with it. I still was watching as well. You can see him there. And a little sneaky peek, Dan. So... I think a Anubis, yeah, Anubis starts to hit me now. So you can see, look at my health. So Anubis is bowing me. So I'm like, right, he's absolutely battering me. And he stops hitting me for a second. But I realise that, like, now he's hitting me again. So you see how he kind of hits, like, probably a third of my health per hit, something like that. Because I'm still only a 10 noob. So I thought, right, there's maybe two minutes towards the end at this point. I thought, I'll just see if he stops hitting me. And he actually did kill me genuinely. I was trying to pop, but it didn't work. So I walked back in. Literally, as soon as I got to the stone, I can't remember who was on it. It was someone, DL won it, so... Is it... I can't see who was on the stone. I didn't see actually who was on the... I mean, someone could probably tell. I can never tell who was on the fucking stone. Anyway, DL won it, so congrats, DL. And then, I think this is... I can't remember what fucking footage this is from now. Off the top of my head, was it an event? Is I, I still was on, then there's an event. Right, recording now. Okay, yeah, this was an event. <laughs> 
so Ice Silver came on, started spawning some bosses, and obviously Ty got very busy. Lifeless Full and Troll spawned. I got right next to him, which was good. Um, switched to my staff because I probably don't hit the fucking thing. And then we just went crazy on its ass. There was loads of people trying to kill it. He's got shitloads of health as well, so... So Lifeless Full and Troll dropped really good items. And then I just skipped this actually towards the end now, so... I should have worn my anti-poison bracelet. Oh, no, I did have it. I think I might have had it on. Um... I always have like my anti poison bracelet every time there's an event on because everything just poisons you. So again, we're going crazy on the hits. Maybe I haven't got my anti poison bracelet on. No, I haven't. It doesn't fucking matter anyway. <laughs> it's all about the it's all about the drops really with the bosses. So um, some of the drops I can't tell what it is. A golden thunder rod, a groomy tablet, and an epic stinger. I think it was. So I didn't get any of those drops. I didn't get any drops actually at all. Which is a bit annoying. Apart from this time. So look at here. So <laughs> there was an event in this little room, which was pretty cool. There's a Kovlar, Kelvlar, whatever, at the bottom. And I'm bowing it. I'm pretty sure this is the right footage anyway. So, um, I think a fourth hit, it dies. And look, I actually get... I picked something up there. picked up a Ruby M. And I couldn't get to the other fucking drops. And there was a Raptor and a something else I can't even see. So, I Silver, if you're watching this, please increase the range you can pick up for drops. Because that was really annoying. I actually got the last kill, which uh, is very rare for me with bosses. And then we all kind of just went crazy on the Kelvars. In this room, it was pretty cool actually because events are normally an open space you can run around, but when you're in a tight space, it makes it a lot harder. So, um, I use a lot of pots up in here. I nearly died, and I, I always have resis on me, so it's not the end of the world if I die, but um, it's not good obviously when you're trying to kill a boss. So, again, I think something else died there, and I couldn't get anywhere near to pick up the drops. It was pretty cool though, you know, I quite liked it. And then, of course, Gorshak. Gorshak was spawned. This is towards the end now. I actually got a, a see, Gorshak takes long. Uh, time to kill, but he does drop items throughout the 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 kind of the death of him, should we say? Um, I don't know how many times he does it. I've only noticed it once, but I actually picked up a rare blue wave axe. I actually traded it with Knight in game, so that's pretty cool because I actually got that's the first proper blue wave axe I've had. Um, so that was quite nice just to get a bit of a drop because the thing is with these bosses, I probably I, I definitely do one damage to all of them, so the the chance of me getting the last hit. Hit is very kind of rare. Even though I actually killed Gorshat before, as you saw from a previous video, complete fucking fluke. Um, so there's quite a lot of us killing him. And you need a lot to kill Gorshak. He's fucking ridiculous. And then right at the end here, we all kind of just crowd around. And, um, you know, you kind of get in closer for the drops. It goes... It's kind of like Freezer off Dragon Ball Z, Gorshak. So he kind of like goes like really big and then small and he's double hard when he's small. Um, I can't remember what's dropped. What was that? Azor, oh, Azora, that was it. A rare Azora staff. I think... I got a feeling Monster Man got that drop. He got, I'm sure he got one at some some point later on in the game. Anyway, um, Azora is like one of the one of the best staffs. I don't know if it's the best staff, but it's a really good staff. So that was the end of Gorshak. Again, didn't get the main drop, but I did get a blue wave back, so I was pretty pretty chuffed with that. And then there's some PK and starts at the end, so I get the fuck out of there. I think I cut off the. I don't know maybe I edited this bit wrong. <laughs> I should have so I'm narrating this but this bit should have been cut out I actually might cut it out we'll see uh, it's a bit too long this bit in fact let me just uh, no let me carry on let me carry on because I don't know what will happen to the video if I, if I uh, stop doing it so um, we're all talking about what dropped because no one not some people couldn't see it for some reason but it was a rare Azora staff so mages and stuff obviously want that because it increases their mag magic attack um, I've been doing a bit of magic, so as you can tell, my character at the moment is I've got Crystal Staff, I've got Golden Thunder Rod now, I've got an intense one. Oh, then Monster Man starts <laughs> PK. <laughs> they always PK Monster Man. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a bit of int training recently. I'm going to go back to bow shortly, so I don't get completely destroyed by anything with any int. So I was like, right, PK started. I am getting the fuck out of here <laughs> because I get PK'd sometimes. I think the, I think it helps that I'm a lower level because they can't kill me. Some, the, the cap people can't. Um, okay. Then, this is the coolest bit of the video. Grand Devil Guard spawned. So, I said, we'll put an event on again. And he said, right, we're going to go to the blue place. And I was like, fuck, I've never been here. I've seen it on screenshots. And I was like, right, run around. And then, I couldn't run. So, literally, the edge, the way, where I'm here now, you, that's the edge of it. So, you can't run down. You can't run, like, like it's such a small area. It's like a, it's like a tiny room. So, there was Kelvars. There was Grand Devil Guards in there. And I had a limited amount of parts, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to die here. Um, <laughs> but it was wicked. Like, look, the, the, literally, the area the, the area I'm running to, that is the edge of it. 
So I don't know if any of you have been here, well, obviously the people who did this event have, so there's me, Knight, Finn, Brad, um, who else is on the screen, I can't tell. There's quite a few of us, and um, but it was it was cool, it was, I kind of always wanted to, that, that was the edge of it, so I was trying to run left and that was as far as I could go. But I remember when on Isoma days, I always I always mithered Slither to try and get me to go there. Every time he came on, I'd be going, take him to the blue place, take him to the blue place, and he never did. And uh, so it was pretty cool. It's kind of like 15 years later, and you get to go to the blue place. I was pretty chuffed with this. So I put a bit of magic gear on because um, that was the main thing that was killing me as a magic. So who was uh, blind, but luckily I had the potion. So I always kind of get prepared now for when an event goes on. I would recommend getting HP pots and the black serums. Because a lot of the bosses blind you. And put an anti-poison bracelet on as well. Because a lot of the bosses poison you. Uh, and get a bit of mage gear ready just in case. And then the Grand Devil <laughs> starts trying to kill me. And I'm like, oh fuck, I'm stuck. So I'm like, right, I'm going to die here. And then I managed to get away. Someone else tanked it. <clears throat> I mean, I think the high levels should tank these ones quite easily. Because, I mean, they take about half my HP. So I'm sure a top level wouldn't take that much. But yeah, so Grand Devil Guard, I didn't... I don't think I got anything here. I can't remember now. Um, no, I didn't because I didn't get any drops. I actually, I actually, the, the drops that dropped here are traded after in game. So I've got some bows that I can attempt to upgrade, which I'm going to try and do in a video. But whoever's upgrading them, I need them to record the screen to me to put it into this format. So I'll, uh, I'll see. Looping normally does mine or flick, but if they can record the screen, it'd be a lot better for this because I can show what happens at the back end of the of the upgrades. Rather me just standing there shitting myself like every other one does at the anvil. Anyway, so we um, start trying to kill the Grand Devil Guard. Flick's there as well. Flick the Bean. Flick the Bean got like most of the drops. Mitch is there. Um, and if you see, there's so many Kelvar Colvars. If Flick even dies, so some of the, <laughs> if Flick dies, then you know it's you know it's pretty bad. So I'm kind of just standing at the back doing my little spirit sword on him. And, uh, but it was cool. I was really chuffed to be, like I said, I was really chuffed to be in the blue place because it's uh, I've never been there. And uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I can't remember what dropped. There was a, there was a Grand Devil God Soul, though, dropped, which I think I see somewhere, actually, because I tried to pick it up and no one did for a while. Maybe it's gone. Um, yeah, there's a Grand Devil God Soul, which I'm not sure, 100% sure what it's used for, but I know that you can get, like, three to four decks and strength and in... And have access for the souls in game. If you don't know about, I didn't know about this actually until I started playing. But where the anvil is, not the anvil, the loom is. I think there's a building to the top left. If you go into there, there's, a, there's an NPC that tells you kind of what you can. I don't think can tell you actually, but basically, you click that NPC and you will get better access if you have the right um, souls. It is in the game manual, but it's quite a lot. You need like to get the plus three decks. You needed like um, I think it was like blood acre soul. Um, Gorg and Kobold and something else. It was, it was quite a lot, and like maybe two of each. So again, to get these these kind of really nice rings and access, it, it takes a lot of boss killing. I, I think it's probably easier just to upgrade some of the light tabs and, and uh, red red dragon tablets personally. But I think if you're a higher level and you can kill these bosses quite easy, and you can kill them regularly. Then obviously, when you upgrade those rings, you got a better chance of them uh, being better. So again, things things are dropping. There was apples M's everywhere, and because of the the kind of the structure of the room, it was quite hard for people to get the drops. A bit like in the previous part of the video, but it was cool. And then this is the end of it. And I saw this bulletin board. I was like, right, I'm gonna put something on here. <laughs> so I was like, right, right, and I put Soma fans, and Matty is the best. Dot dot dot. <laughs> I didn't know what to put. I was like, right, we need to get out of here now because something's gonna kick us out. And that's what they came off the top of my head. Anyway. So if you go back to the blue place, you'll probably see that at some point. And uh, that's the end of it. So credits are here. PM me in game if you need anything. Enjoy. Peace.